Sarah Ferguson launches new children's book as Royal Lodge Costs Mount. Sarah Ferguson has announced that she will be releasing the first of her new picture book series for children later this year, entitled Flora and Fern, Wonder in the Woods. Fergie's words will be accompanied by illustrations by Denise Hughes, as the story follows the titular rabbits on a snowy festive adventure in the forest, which will be published on October 10 this year. The synopsis reads, Flora and Fern are getting ready for their festive party. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. But when they head out into the snow to gather everything for the occasion, things don't go according to plan. Will they still be able to have their woodland friends over and celebrate? The Duchess of York and former wife of Prince Andrew said about her new book, I am so thrilled to be working with New Frontier on my brand new children's picture book series and I can't wait for families to meet Flora and Fern and join them on this festive adventure. And I can't thank Denise Hughes enough for bringing their woodland world to life with the most beautiful illustrations. Alongside plenty of joy and celebration, I also wanted to leave readers with a message about the power of community and being connected to the world around you, an ethos which is very close to my heart. This news comes as Prince Andrew, whom Fergie is still close to and still lives with at Royal Lodge, is facing ongoing financial difficulties regarding the upkeep of his mansion, with friends of the Duchess suggesting that she could help him out. He has been fighting his brother King Charles to be able to stay at the property, which he signed a 75-year lease for in 2003, and it has been agreed that he must be able to pay for the maintenance if he wishes to stay there. An inside source has revealed to Express.co.uk the full extent of the repairs needed inside and outside Royal Lodge, and even though the Duke of York has no formal income, he is determined that he can meet the costs. The insider said, your immediate impression walking in, it is like Miss Havisham's house, unloved. It is also freezing in there. There is less staff about and simple household jobs like opening windows, letting in a bit of air, are rarely done. Like all houses of that age, it, Royal Lodge, needs ventilation. It just aggravates the damp and causes mold. Sometimes the electricity is cut off so they can attend to damp patches on the walls. But it is only cosmetic repair, just as you finish one bit another one needs doing, the whole place needs treating. In spite of Andrew being cast out as a working royal due to his involvement in the Jeffrey Epstein scandal, Fergie has always stuck by her former husband. The Duchess of York has always remained loyal to Andrew, as royal expert and editor of Majesty magazine Ingrid Seward explained that Fergie had vowed to support him. Ms. Seward told The Sun's royal exclusive show that the late Queen Elizabeth likely spoke to Fergie to make sure her son was protected after her death. She said, Sarah must have talked to the Queen and she must have said please look after Andrew for me. A friend of Sarah's told the Mirror, it is true Sarah has a vested interest in Andrew continuing to live at Royal Lodge, as it is where she stays when in the UK. But it is more than that, this is about Andrew's pride. Andrew has always stood by Sarah throughout her various past failures and she sees this as her chance to do the same. Sarah Ferguson's ten-word swipe at Meghan Markle shows just how keen members of the royal family are to distance themselves from her and Prince Harry, according to an insider. It has long been believed that Harry remains on friendly terms with his cousins Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, with the latter even visiting the couple at their Montecito home. However, their mother, the Duchess of York, commented to the Telegraph that she and Meghan do not have much of a bond, saying, I don't really know Meghan, I haven't really met her. A source explained to Express.co.uk how this may have been a technique from Fergie to keep herself apart from Harry and Meghan, as they said, they were neighbours. Royal Lodge is basically next door to Frogmore and the Yorks and Sussexes met quite often. Sarah taught Meghan how to curtsy and there have been other meetings. They added, both Harry and Meghan were quite surprised by Sarah's comments and couldn't understand why she would distance herself like that. It has caused a bit of distance between the families. 
The source also admitted that Beatrice and Eugenie are not as close to the California-based couple as they once were, as Beatrice and Eugenie have firmly pledged their allegiance to the royal family. They haven't communicated with the Sussexes for a while now. They are nowhere near as close as they once were. Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank, who share sons August and Ernest, had been thought to be the closest to Harry and Meghan.